In this tutorial you're going to learn how to isolate an image so that you can remove parts of the image that you don't want but also to take that image which we'll do in the next tutorial and merge it with another say background or, or put two images together. So what I'm going to get you to do is you're going to open up a file called McLobster. It's a photo of the McDonald's sign in Moncton on Mountain Road. You probably recognize it. Uh, it was taken quite a while ago. If you can take a look at the gas prices over there, 70 cents a liter. I would isolate that one too. Here's what you're going to do. is We're going to use some selection tools and we're going to use layers combined. I didn't change anything over here. My threshold's at about 50. And I might have to change some things here in a second. But what we're going to do is so that we don't mess up this first layer which is called McLobster. We're going to duplicate this layer and we're going to make the McLobster, the first layer, invisible so that any changes we make here uh, will be seen but won't affect the other layer and then eventually we'll get rid of this layer if we don't make any mistakes. So let's start with this. What we want to do is we want to isolate the McDonald's sign. We don't want the sky. We don't want this background over here. Uh, we don't even want the phone booth or the tree. So it'll be easy enough to get rid of colors that are similar, but when we get to the tree it'll be a little tougher, so we'll have to use a different tool. We'll use the eraser tool. So what we're going to do here is we may as well select a rectangular selection that's not going to work for me because I have it fixed as an aspect ratio so I'm going to make sure that that's off that the rounded corners are off that the feather edges are off yours are probably set like this by default I'm going to click again so that I can really select what I want I think I want the strawberry shortcake poster as well so I'll grab this much and then what we're going to do with that is we're going to take this selection and we're going to reverse what is selected. So rather than selecting this, it's going to select the outside. And to do this is we're going to go to Select in the menu and we're going to invert the selection. Now, in reality, what's selected is the everything that wasn't. I'm going to hit Delete on the keyboard. The other thing that'll work would be Edit Clear and so we've kind of taken out some parts of the image that we don't need that we know that we're not going to keep and that'll make the erasing part later on a little easier to do I'm just going to click somewhere else I'll get rid of my guides too okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our fuzzy select tool or the magic wand and I'll leave the threshold here at about 50 and it's picking some half decent parts of the image. It's not picking the yellow, it's not picking the red or any other parts here. So I'm going to consider this okay. I'm going to delete this part and notice that we've got the sign well selected here at the top. We'll repeat this step. If something messes up, if your threshold is incorrect and you need to uh, reselect something or deselect it and then reselect it just use your control Z key so your undo in order to uh, go back and fix what didn't work so I'm hitting I'm clicking here I delete it I clicked here I delete it I'm going to try down here and see this gray should be significantly different than any of the sign colors and with the threshold here of about 50 it's working pretty good but notice that I'm still getting all of this stuff and I'm not going to want to use the magic wand tool over here for every little part. I'll continue down here. Oh, that didn't work, see? So I'm going to have to undo, control Z. I'll try the sky here. That might not be too bad. I might try the roof of the church, but see I have too many similar colors here with this threshold. I may want to reduce the threshold I'll break it down some and see if I can and there are times when I'm going to want to 
zoom in a little bit better. See, so if I hit delete here, I'm losing a good part of that sign. So I have to undo that. And I'm going to select none. So what the easiest part might be to do here would be to uh, zoom in a bit. I'll zoom into the bottom. You can do the same sort of things. You saw how I used the rectangle tool. You saw how I used the fuzzy select tool. I could decide that I want to select the free select tool and click, click like this along the sign. I guess I'm near the bottom so that should be pretty good. I'll try and keep it quite vertical and maybe I'll just uh, select up here and I'm not going to worry about what I select over here because this part will be easy to get rid of. And I go back to my original selection, that's the important part. And then now I have a defined selection, I'll zoom out to demonstrate that. I'll delete that part and so I've got a good part here that was close to the sign that's removed. What I can also do is I mean I'm not going I don't have any use reason to use the ellipse tool. What I might do here is I might decide that I want to use the rectangle tool to get rid of this part here. And that's not too bad. What you can also do is you can move this tool around. So if I wanted to move it up a little bit, notice that I have those four arrows. I'll move it up just a bit and I'll hit delete again and it kind of gets rid of that I'll maybe bring it closer to the sign it'll get rid of this little tiny part that wasn't selected. I could do the same thing down here. I could get rid of the Ultramar sign. I'll move this over a bit and delete. I'll move it up here and hit delete. I could reduce the size of that selection if I wanted to and move it up without selecting the sign itself and delete. Another thing that I can do is I can decide that rather than using the uh, selection tool and then using delete, I could use my eraser tool. Now the default brush for the eraser tool is normally one of these hard brushes here, which is fine. I could decide that I want to bring that in here and I see that I have a circle of a certain size. Well that circle, I have to click over here first, and notice that it's not selecting anything. That's because I still have a selection up here. So anything that I would click in here would erase. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that I select none and then I can sort of work with different brush sizes so I could be more precise. And to be more precise that might mean that I need to zoom in quite a bit more and delete like this. Just I'm just clicking and dragging and I'm letting it go on a regular basis. So I'm clicking, I'm letting it go, I'm clicking clicking, I'll move around and I'll let it go. Only because if I end up doing something like this, click whoops, I went a little too far, the undo control Z will only undo that last short step rather than all of the uh, large steps. So if I did all, whoops, and I did all that and I spent 15 minutes doing this, that's an exaggeration, but then it would undo everything. So it's worth clicking and dragging now and then stopping and then trying it again and whoops too much, control Z and you're good to go. So now I'm going to need a smaller brush size here. If I use the fuzzy select tool I'm probably going to end up selecting the brown casing here, the brown frame around the sign which is not what I want to do because I want to make this look as natural as possible. So I need to reduce the size of that brush if I'm going to go in here. Maybe that's a little too small. So I'm working with half decent brush sizes here. And what I might also do is rather than having a hard selection like this, I may decide that I want the brush to be a softer selection. So I'm, I'm lowering the hardness here. Okay. So as I'm selecting, it's not being, I'm able to uh, sort of lighten some of the colors so that it looks more as a border. I'm going to undo it a bit here so you can see what I'm going at here. And if I want it to be a little more precise, what I can do is select that rectangle tool and say that I'm going to select from here to... and I'd say this is about the top of that poster. If I'm wrong, that's not a big deal. I can come back and get rid of that top part. I'll be able to tell a little bit better 
when I zoom out. So I'm going to select this and by selecting this now I'm constraining the area where I can use my eraser. So I could go like this but it won't erase outside of that selected rectangle. You see so I'm, I'm able to kind of play a little looser here with my eraser without messing up the uh, the borders of the sign. And so, like I showed you earlier, we can take this probably move the whole thing, so I'm going to undo that. But we can take the rectangle tool. I'm going to, let's say, move, I'll just make a new one here just so I can get this part. You see, so editing a photo can take a long time Right, and so this is the post, right? We have a poll. I wonder if I didn't delete part of that poll a while ago. I'm going to undo just in case a few times. Yeah, I probably didn't. I might have deleted a little bit of it, so it might be worth me for me to uh, reselect my rectangle, maybe a little closer to the edge here, and I'll delete. I can delete that too. I could have used my eraser tool. Uh, you'll know what you need to do as you go along. So what I'm going to need to do now is I need to continue doing all of this. I won't uh, go through all of this with you, but what you also should do is you should also go look around on your photo to see if there aren't some straggling pieces here. Sometimes there's like a couple pixels that have and so what I should do here is I should actually move this move this up so that I have a perfectly horizontal selection here so it's perfect there I should move I should actually create a little maybe move that a little tiny bit delete that so it's quite square and do the same thing here so check around and see if you don't have any straggling pixels kicking around here so I have the tree right well and that background so I'm going to have to I could use my rectangle select tool but then it gets a little harder to get closer to the edges so what you might want to do is you might want to use your um, sort of the free select tool like this and click click so you have a nice straight line and then just really select anything else here and so that's not too bad. So let's zoom out and see what this looks like. I'll zoom it out to 66. It's starting to look a lot better. Once you have this done and it's looking okay, what you should do is we'll get rid of the layer that had everything in the background. Right? Everything's still there. We'll get rid of that layer because we didn't mess it up. So we can delete that layer and at the end of all of this, I'll just click select none, at the end of all of this what you should do is you should save it as, and I'll get you to save it as Mick Lobster with your initials, so if your name is Homer J. Simpson save it as Mick Lobster HJS and in the next tutorial we're going to take this We'll continue on this image, but we'll place this image on a different background. We'll place it in a place where a McDonald's sign normally wouldn't be found. That's the end of this tutorial. I encourage you to play around with those tools and get it right. It might take you half an hour, it might take you 45 minutes to get it right, but the important part is that you've edited properly